Welcome to another episode of the Wondering Watercolor. Today we are painting the eighth page of the Complete Beginner's Guide. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the eighth page of the Beginner's Guide coloring book. And this is, um, obviously this is a macaw parrot. And they come in a lot of different color patterns. So this one will be the, the blue, yellow, and green pattern. As always, have a place to mix your colors. Paper towel or, um, or a rag. A brush and two jars of water. On, I have them on the side here of the camera. And basically, we're going to use all of the skills that we've learned so far and combine them to fully render this image. So the very first thing that we'll do is get some blue and we, we want we want it to be a stronger blue so we want to use more paint than water. So this is good right here. And what we'll do is We'll go ahead and we'll do kind of like a sweeping mark right down here where the feathers are, maybe a little bit here. And you're just kind of going in like this, going up like that. Do a couple of lines here like that. And then we're gonna rinse our brush off completely and just like one of the first techniques that we learned, we're gonna pull up that color out of that intense color that we we put just we put down right here. We're just gonna pull it up and then just kind of get more water and then just going upwards, dilute it so we can give that gradating. fading out, going upwards. Okay, and then we're gonna rinse our brush. And actually, we're gonna use a little bit more of that blue because there's also a lot going on down here. So these feathers, they're blue. And back up in here a little bit and then do a line right there and then down here going down like this and when you when you keep using the same load of paint on your brush it just kind of lightens up as you can see while you progressively continue to paint I'm just gonna fade in this this edge a little more because I want it to be a little more faded or, or I mean better blended that's a better way to put it so okay that's good and now I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to get actually I'm gonna make sure that my brush is wet and then pick up a bunch of yellow here and get a good amount of yellow I'm not really worried about having too much paint with the yellow. As I said previously, it's a very light color, so you want to have extra. And we're just going to go ahead and lay that in right there on the feathers here that are on the chest. And also going upwards into here, like that, all the way up here. And also back here, these feathers, we want to give them that yellow color okay that looks fine and right here and then we're just gonna do a little bit right there and maybe a little bit right here and then rinse off our brush completely and grab our green 
and then just go ahead and lay that in here like that okay perfect and then I'm gonna rinse off my brush and my brush is still wet I'm just gonna kind of pull that out right there and kind of blend that in right there perfect and I do want to dry my brush rinse it off dry it and then kind of pick up some of that color right here I don't want it to be that dark towards the front towards the back here is okay towards the front I wanted it to be a little lighter and I do realize that doing that made us pick up some of that um, that yellow that was there so in order to fix that I'm just going to get some of that yellow just dab it right there and then that's it okay that looks good I'm rinsing my brush off completely and then I'm gonna move on to the brown with the brown you want it to have a little more water we don't want it to be too dark and we're going to go ahead and just do a flat wash to get in that layer of color to show the form of the tree stump that the parrot is sitting on and you're just filling it in almost as if using a marker There we go, grab some more color and then go in here where the, where the little claw or foot is. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna rinse off my brush again. And this time, well, this time what we'll do is we'll grab some, a little bit of black and we want to get some water and kind of fade that out diluted to make a gray for the beak so the beak is going to be so this this whole little patch right here we're going to color that in completely and also do the same for the beak we're gonna color all of that in But then while it's still wet, I'm going to rinse off our brush, dry it off, and then pick up some of that color because we want to create a little bit of a highlight. Just a little bit like that. There we go. Now the feathers over here, as you can tell, they've lightened up because the color, the paint has dried, so now it's a little lighter. But what we'll do is, I'm gonna make sure that our brush is wet, and we're gonna go in, and we're gonna get more paint. We want, we want it to have a little bit of water, but it's mostly paint, and with that, we can create some um, definition. So what I mean by that is, we're going to come in, do a little bit of just some strokes like that, just to show where the darkest edge of the feathers is located. And just kind of pull upwards. And then go a little bit underneath to show some of these feathers going down and I'm just kind of following the the lines that are already there for the um, from the initial drawing on the bottom I'm just kind of outlining them just a little bit and then going upwards doing the same notice that I continue using the same load of paint that's on the brush head that way it kind of lightens up as I continue to paint it's not as intense as when you start just because it's slowly being used up and then just kind of randomly outline some of the feathers going upwards 
You don't have to do all of them, just kind of here and there, just a little bit, to show that there's some texture. <clears throat> See, that's already looking pretty good. I did mess up a little bit here with the um, with the outline that I put that kind of bled into the um, the tree there or the tree branch, but that's okay because I'm just gonna grab some of the brown, add a little more paint, more paint than water this time, and I'm just gonna go in and kind of create a shadow. And the shadow, is, it doesn't have to be perfect. You do want to show that the back of the tree here is darker. And then a little bit of a shadow in the front here, maybe underneath the feathers. It doesn't have to be all in shadow. And then definitely back here. And at the bottom of the of the branch sticking out here and then kind of in the middle here just to show the change okay okay so this looks good so far now up here what we want to do is get a little more intense black, so not a lot of water, just mostly paint. But here we want to go very slowly. So what you want to do is just add some strokes here to show the texture of the little ruffles there in the, in the chin, like that maybe outline where the beak where the mouth is over here for the nostril just the very tip of the brush that's where you get the finest line and then where the pupil is just go very slowly there we go and then some marks over here going upwards like that rinse our brush this is looking good so far and now we're going to well I was gonna say we're gonna go back into where the blue feathers are, but they're still very wet. So we're gonna fill in where the um, where the claw is here. And we'll do that by getting a little bit of yellow and then maybe a little bit of brown and just kind of mixing them up. There we go, that's about the color you're looking for right there. There we go, and rinse off the brush. And then, we do wanna mix up, actually I'm gonna dry off the brush and I'm just gonna pick up that excess color, like that. Okay, now this, uh, this blob of blue paint here, I'm gonna pick up some of it and then rinse off my brush and add more water to it just to lighten it up. And after that, we're gonna get some green. We're mixing up a teal color is basically what we're going for. So this is a little bit too green, so I'm gonna get more blue and just mix it up. There we go, that looks like a pretty good color right there. Maybe a little more blue. There we go. 
in here with this color what we're going to do is add in the background for the background we're going to go kind of loosely we're gonna press down on the brush so we can show the texture of the paper and we may need to add a little more water because we don't want the background to be too dark but we want it to be there to just separate the the bird or the object from the background so let's do that I'm gonna go like this and a little more careful around the edges but then going outward I'm just gonna wet my brush just kind of pull it out like that press down so you can we can show that nice texture of the paper like that and down here just more careful going in like that Okay, gonna get some water and kind of fade it out like that. And back here. And you'll notice how as I get further away from the from the object, from the bird, it's I'm pressing down to make to really show the texture. There we go. And then the next thing, we're gonna grab some more of our brown here, but then this time we're going to throw a little bit of purple in it. Because we want to mix up a darker color that we will use for the darker shadows back here like that kind of going down and showing a little bit of the texture of the wood like that a little bit here and definitely a lot over here underneath the claw. I'm going to rinse off my brush and then dry it off. Some of that did leak out into the, the wet of the paper. That's fine. It's not a big deal. And now we're going to add a little bit of um, yellow to mix in with this with this dark purple brown that we mixed and this will be used for the shadow areas of the yellow feathers okay so that's good and basically I'm just gonna go in like this just to show in some of that texture, that shadow, right there, just like that, going upwards and then going in here, going back here, just kind of like throwing in the shadow, over here, okay. And rinse off the brush. I'm gonna grab some of this black just to um, lay in a color for the nail right there. Just like that. That's perfect. We don't need to do much more with that. And next, we're gonna get some blue. It's a strong, a lot of paint. Kind of a more intense blue and then some purple right here I'm gonna mix that up and this will be kind of like the outline for the f the blue feathers 
So what we'll do is we'll lay some of that in right here. Now some of this is obviously still wet, but we can still lay in the color and it'll just mix in. If you just kind of dab it, it'll mix in there and give such a nice contrast. And the same over here, a little bit there, maybe a little bit of an outline. There we go. Like that. And also a little bit up here, not too much though, just a little bit sh just to show that variation in intensity of outline. And you rinse off our brush. And we are done. So yeah, that's we used a lot of the techniques from the previous pages. I'm very happy how this turned out. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And I will see you on the next page.